Right then, welcome to a Phantom Guide video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the DJI multifunction backpack that everybody's been waiting a shed load of days for. Finally arrived today, so I'm going to give you a brief overview of what it's like so you can make your mind up if you want to buy one or not. It does cost around £160, so it's not the cheapest option available. It's not the most expensive, but it's definitely not the cheapest. So I'll give you a, a brief overview and I'll show you the, the phantoms sitting inside one. So this is how it comes. It's not a full hard shell. Sides and top and bottom are soft material. Not very soft, but not hard. And you've got an X on the top, which goes to the, to the corners. That's the, the hard shell part of it, so it's not really a hundred percent hard shell like the Phantom 3 one. You've got a DJI logo, it's like a metal logo with some enamel grey enamel DJI in the middle, and on the sides you have two flappy pockets, and in the pockets you have a zip compartment each side, you've got one each side and two little slots that you can actually drop some memory cards or card readers or something in there I'm not sure if, what it's designed for, if it's designed for props or not but I won't be too happy with props in there to be honest with you so probably not, not, not use much of that and that's it really for the front, it's a fairly bland backpack no bells and whistles, no flashy lights or nothing. I'll show you the other side. <clears throat> and the other side pretty much looks like many backpacks. You've got the shoulder straps. You've got a chest strap which clips in place. And you have a waist strap with a massive buckle on it. I don't know who DJI thought was going to be wearing it, like Arnold Schwarzenegger or something. Downside to it is this strap here is not removable. It's sewn into the back of the backpack itself. Personally, I don't like these, they get in the way, but there's no option but to have it in place. I'd like a, a little nice firm back support here, and it's got the, the X on it, and I can embose DJI, I don't know if you can see that, DJI logo. Feels quite well made actually on the outside. The straps have got some clip things, some, some extra clips you can pretend to be on some kind of mountain climber, and it's got adjustable parts on it, top and bottom, pretty much like most backpacks. And I'll get to these in a bit, but it comes in a little tiny pocket, and in that tiny pocket there is four screws. I'll show you what they are later. I was puzzled until I read the little instruction booklet that comes with it. You do get a little instruction booklet that explains a few things. Well, explains one thing. Anyway, I'll get to that in a bit. Let's open the backpack up. And we've got zips that just go around the edge of that. Oh, la la! I'll cover the inside bit first. Oop, I left my controller in there. Right then, this is the inside. Personally, I think it's a little bit of a letdown. It doesn't look like a high quality product that you expect from DJI at all. All these bits pop out. Oh, that's where your Phantom goes. You can actually get into the inside of it. It's Suppose it does its job, but it's not a very high quality bag. You got the Phantom goes there, you've got another pouch that comes off. That's where the controller goes. And there is another pouch. Got quite a bit of padding in it, but so that is the backpack on the inside. You also got a little pouch here. 
and it'll take a couple of batteries, which I've still got in there. Hold on. And that's what you have on the back parts of it, where the Phantom goes. I'll just cover the other part of it briefly. On the lid, you have, so I don't break everything in the process, you have a little pouch here that apparently you can put a laptop in there, a 15 inch laptop, but I'll show you later why I wouldn't put one in there. And on this side here, you have another little zip, and that goes behind, well, between your back and where you would supposedly put a 15 inch laptop. Again, I'm not sure what you're supposed to put in there. Probably be okay putting in the, the sunshade for the, for the controller or something like that. But I'll just cover this part for now. The bit you probably want to see is how the phantom goes inside. So I'll pick one of my phantoms. Two on display today. The way DJI show them to go is the battery points towards the controller. And the idea is you just literally put it in there like that. And use this strap to connect to connect it on this side and tighten it up like that. That's how it's intended to go. Me, I don't really think it's the best fit to be honest with you. The rear motors go underneath or inside the little star shape, but the the front ones just won't go there. There's just no way of getting them to go there. It's it's a very strange, strange fit. It, I just don't know why it's like this. I think I think it would be like that for everybody, but to me, it looks a bit messy. It even shows it like this on the on the picture on DJI's website. So I suppose that's how it's supposed to go. The controller goes in here. that in place and like I showed before the batteries go in here I think two will fit quite happily you probably can shove another one in there to be honest with you but and that is it that's how DJI intend you to to put the the Phantom in the backpack there's a pouch here, you can put various bits and bobs. Let's have a look, see if see if I can fit props in there. Let's see. Uh, yeah, they do fit in there, but again, nothing really fits that well in this backpack. So I think if I was gonna put props, I'd probably leave them in the side here to be honest with you or yeah I'd put them like that this is how I would put the props if I was going to use this backpack I wouldn't want to put them anywhere where they can get any pressure on them and in this pouch just doesn't look like it's it's any good for storing anything so let's close the backpack off and there's quite a bit of weight which you, I can't really explain but this thing is very heavy this part off. And there you go a phantom in its backpack now let's see if Props actually fit in here. Actually, I think the props actually fit quite well in here. Ah, I think you can probably put props quite safely in there to be honest with you. Um, that's where you can put your props. 
I think DJI have kind of left it up to the user to decide where everything apart from the controller and the phantom itself goes. It's not and seemingly has a definitive purpose. I have to watch this thing marks very very easily. You can get easily get dirt on it. Uh, so there you go. That's the Phantom backpack. Let me just try to explain why I wouldn't put a a laptop where DJI say laptop should go. Because this thing is so heavy, the back, it's, and these flappy cables are I'm probably going to snip half of these off, to be honest with you. I don't see any need for them at all. It's just not the best in the world. Now this pouch here, if you did put a, a laptop in there, what it would be pressing against it's the top of your motors and that's the same as anything that you would fit in there if it's hard it's going to be slapped up against the top of your motors when you close the lid I mean me, I'm going to put an iPad in there get my iPad out I mean, I've got a, an iPad mini and I think I can just put it there and that's where I will be putting my iPad when when I'm using this backpack, if I use this backpack. I'm just really not happy with it at the moment, to be honest with you. But I would definitely not put a 15 inch laptop in there. You put an aluminium MacBook Pro in there, it's gonna slap on top of your motors when you close the lid. And it's gonna be banging up against it all the time when you're walking or anything like that. So, ultimately, it's not a good idea to put put anything in there that's, that's hard. You probably get away with your your sun sun hood for, for the iPad or maybe put it in in that slot to be honest with you. But I'm definitely not gonna be putting a laptop. Or even if people have a bigger iPad, an iPad nine inch or twelve inch pro, definitely not gonna be putting it in there. I think it's a, it's a bit of a stupid idea by DJI. <clears throat> this backpack would have been a million times better if they would have just used foam and have an insert inside here. Yes, it might go a little bit bigger, but it's going to be much better. And I really do hope that when nobody buys this, this case because it's crap, that they make a proper one like they did for the Phantom 3 a proper hard shell with a foam insert. Yes, it's bigger. Yes, it weighs a little bit more, but this just looks like one of them cheap knockoffs you get off eBay. That's just about designed for Phantom. I mean, this really just looks like a normal backpack for camera equipment that's had inserts just made that almost fit a Phantom. I mean, it doesn't even fit it properly and shoved it out there and gone 160 pounds please but it's just not really a good design it's not nice at all i think dji have jumped the gun with this and if i was anybody who's ordered it i would be cancelling my order to be honest with you and buying something else i might in the comments bit or the description bit I shall put a link to something which I think is better but well definitely better than this which I wouldn't recommend them because I don't own one I've got one of these but it's I don't like it it's it's okay I'm not gonna leave my phantom in it like I would in a in the hard shell for the phantom 3 I'd happily leave it in there all day there is a third party Phantom 4 hard shell backpack that's on eBay from China. And it's very similar to the knockoff Phantom 3 hard shells, but the foam insert fits the Phantom 4. And people have already swapped them between the Phantom 
knockoff Phantom 4 case and the case for the Phantom 3 hard shell and it fits perfectly so I might put a link to that in the description as well if I remember when I make the video but as it is I don't like this I wouldn't recommend it to anybody it's, it's like an afterthought DJI probably thought oh let's make a hard shell that's worse than the other one we made quality wise it's not too bad stitching it's not brilliant but I think it'll do it kind of looks like a, a casket around the edges it's a little bit uh, like frilly and the zips are a little bit tight and especially the weight of the back it definitely puts a lot of strain on the zip it feels like it'll survive but I think only time will tell if it does really survive and only time will tell if I actually use it at all well, I'm going to take out the Phantom and the accessories for a second so I can show you what the what the screws are for you get in and you get in the stuck to the front of the, the backpack so all this stuff like I said comes out all of it just comes off batteries let's put them there in the two pouches for the battery you can see it better now but it is adjustable you can take you can open these frilly bits and I think you can just leave them out and put another one in there to be honest with you I think you can just put another one there let's see how it fits yeah there you go you can put three in the backpack and one in the Phantom and it should be okay that's if you buy one which I don't recommend you do so let's show you what these screws are for got too many batteries somewhere and I, haven't actually, and I haven't looked at this so I'm not 100% sure somewhere oh there you go this thing is just like a cast I mean, this is what DJI would put you in when you're dead they would put you inside there. What you have is when you open this bit, wow. you have, if you can actually see it there, you've got a screw there, and you've got one each corner. And the screws are replacement screws for the hand shell. And as per the instructions that come with it, there's instructions, you always read the instructions. What DJI say is Introduction The Phantom Series multifunctional backpack is tailor made for carrying DJI Phantom Series aircraft. Almost tailor made. It's not really tailor made. It's uniquely designed, maybe, designed replaceable outer shells. The idea is you can actually replace the plastic shell, which allows users to customize the backpack's appearance according to their personalities. So. I have no idea what that means. I suppose put stickers on it or some vinyl wrap or something on it to make it look like you want it. So it shows it comes off. It shows you how to screw it in. So the screws that you get which are stuck to the one of the shoulder straps are for, for replacing that. Uh, and then it gives you the specifications. I doubt my camera is going to focus on it properly but there you go. And that is it, and then it becomes Chinese, and I think, or yep, yep, Chinese. So that's the instruction manual. It shows you how to pretty much pull your backpack apart and make you question how the hell you're going to put it back together again. So. Dun, 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 dun. I think someone at DJI has put some thought into this backpack, but not very much. So, and then you've got the, the fun task of trying to put these stupid things back on.
I don't like these type of backpacks as it is, let alone having to mess around with the, the phantom inside one. Anyway, I'm not going to bother putting it back together during the video. You can figure that bit out for yourself. So, that's the DJI multifunctional backpack. Do I recommend it? No, it's a big fail if I can get my down thumb, big fail. It looks okay, but practically, eh, don't like it at all. And they've just added some cheap stuff to try and make it look a little bit better, but doesn't work, don't like it, spend your money somewhere else. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, probably wasted your time really, because I'm pretty much telling you it's crap. But there you go. See you again for another video.